Hi friends, uh, my name is Roshan Nandurkar. Uh, in the recent tutorial, we discuss how to design JFrame window uh, to perform some crude operation on person record. So, in this uh, tutorial, I am going to explain how to perform uh, submit operation uh, for person detail. So, first of all, <coughs> First of all, we will create one singleton class here. For that, I will create one package here. I will say org dot nlt dot instance package, and within this instance package, we will write our singleton class. I will select on this. Uh, I will click on this org dot nlt dot instance package. We will select new and we will select a simple java class uh, for singleton class and i will name for this uh, class as a database connection we'll click on this finish button and to have singleton class i will delete unnecessary code first and to have singleton class uh, we need to write a one private constructor so for that i will say private database connection and we will say database connection and we have to write uh, uh, jdbc connection the database connection here so to perform jdbc connection database connection uh, first of all we have to load a driver uh, we are uh, doing connectivity with the MySQL database so for that uh, we need to have a connector jar file or uh, MySQL library so for that I will say class dot for name to load MySQL driver and the MySQL driver name is com dot mysql dot jdbc driver now it can generate an exception i will say surround statement with try and catch it will generate an exception i will it can generate class not found exception we will use generalize exception here and i would like to print this exception or system dot 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 print an ex or ex dot get message now if class loaded i would like to print one message i will say driver loaded okay now we can check this one i will write one psvm here and from psvm i will create object for this class i will say database connection now we will get exception that is class not found exception so we are getting this class not found expression because we uh, not connected a MySQL library. So for that, I will click on this project and from project I will select the libraries and from libraries I will say add a library, add a library and from here we will say mysql mysql jdbc driver library and i will click on add library now we can see from libraries mysql jdbc driver uh, jar file got connected now one second we will try to run this so now we can see that driver loaded now we have to establish connectivity with the database so for that first of all we will create one database within mysql database so for that localhost xam or localhost php my admin now we will create one database here we will 
create one database here and we will say one database simple crude simple crude the database name is simple crude uh, i will click on create now uh, here within this uh, approach uh, within this uh, database i will create one table and the name of the table i will set as a persons and field i will set for one for uh, id second one for name third one for age and fourth one for contact i will click on this go button and first column name is id second name i will set as a name third one as a age fourth one as a contact i will say integer var char age i will set as a integer and contact i will set as a var char now then after we will select uh, index properties uh, index property i will set as a primary and auto increment for id column we set auto increment properties for property for id column with uh, hence we need not to pass id values from uh, java java class okay so i will click on this save button now okay we have to set uh, uh, var char uh, length so i will set 100 and contact we can set again okay i will click on this save button now table got created now we can see this table so within this table we have id name and h and contact column so now we can perform connectivity uh, with the database and uh, by using this database we can perform uh, operation crude operation on this person's table so for that first of all we have to uh, establish connection so for that i will use a driver manager class and the driver manager uh, class present within a uh, java.sql package i will select driver manager dot get connection and here i have to pass url for mysql database and mysql uh, database url is jdbc colon mysql colon localhost localhost because uh, we have installed mysql database uh, in the same machine so that's why we will say localhost now the port number for mysql database is 3306 and the username for mysql database uh, in my machine is root now and the password is blank so hence we will set it as a blank now if connection is established uh, okay and now from here i have to pass the database name so i will say simple my database name is simple crude okay if connection is established then it will return connection object so we will assign this connection object by using class i will say con and if connection is established then i would like to print a message i will say connection established We try to run this now driver loaded and connection the connection is successful now we will create a one public variable for this connection because we have to pass this connection from this class so we will create public variable for this connection i will say public private connection com okay so now this con is a class variable so <coughs> whenever this driver manager dot get connection method loaded this con will get initialized for this database now <coughs> i will write one static method static method uh, to call this constructor i will say public static
database connection uh, the return type for this uh, method will be uh, database connection it will return uh, self class object so and the method name will be get database connection now within this uh, method from this method we can uh, return a database connection object so for that i will write one private static database connection object and we can say d dbc okay database connection now within uh, from this method that is uh, from get, get database connection method we first of all check if dbc equal equals to null if dbc equal equals to null then we will call this private constructor from this method so for that i will say new database connection now if uh, constructor if constructor uh, is called from uh, from this method we will initialize this dbc now dbc and we can return this dbc from this method or return dbc okay now get database connection method will return the object for dbc uh, for database connection class that is dbc and by using this dbc we will call, we will call get uh, we can receive connection object that is con so for that i will write one more method here i will say public void not exactly not void i will say public connection get a connection return type for this method will be connection which will return the object of connection that's why i will say return con our singleton class is ready now to have connection object i have to call get connection method and to call this get database uh, uh, get connection method uh, we have to create a uh, object for this class first uh, by using this get database connection <coughs> method and we can call this get database connection method by using this class name we will delete this unnecessary input so this is our singleton class in the next tutorial we will explain how to perform submit operation for this person table thanks for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you